Now, let's go ahead and discuss some more Major League Baseball. The Tampa, uh, not Tampa, the Toronto Blue Jays are homeless, basically, again. So this, this is the weirdest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, and it's been going on for a little while. So the Canadian government denied the team's request for approval to play games in Rogers Center uh, due to concerns over the teams crossing the border amid the pandemic. So after that, and this that was just done last week. After that, the club was granted approval to play a majority of their home games at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. And then the plan was rejected today by the Pennsylvania State Government and the Pennsylvania Department of Health according to The Athletic's Ken Rosenthal. Uh, the statement said, to add travelers to this region for any reason, including for professional sports events, risks residents, visitors, and members of both teams, the Pennsylvania Secretary of Health, Dr. Rachel Levine, said in a statement to the AP. So, I am incredibly confused here because they were going to be using PNC Park in Pittsburgh along with the Pirates. And yet, there's nothing about the Pirates not no, being pirates able are to... going to be able to play. Yeah, uh, by the way, Ben said, don't they have a spring training facility? Yeah, it's down in Florida, but they don't want to play. They want to play in a a major league stadium. Everybody else is playing in a major league stadium. The players want to play in a stadium, and I get that. Well, the dugouts, the the training facilities, everything's better. They've got a AAA team in in Buffalo that they they could go play in, but they— Well, the state of New York is going to have to approve— Well, I guess if New York's approved the Yankees and the Mets, they'd have to approve them. Yeah, they would approve them as well. So— that's the thing. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, are we going a little Stephen King with the fog and sirens going off before you get consumed by it? If these drones have 20-foot legs, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> no legs. They just fly. It's just these little I'm bitty things. I was about to say, the, the flying would scare me way more than 20-foot legs. I can take a leg out. Once it's in the air, you you just can't do nothing with that. Yeah, no, you're right about that. Uh, so here's what Buster Olney said. Uh, he said the Blue Jays will continue exploring other options, including traveling to the city of each scheduled opponent and playing as the home team. Yep. That would not, just not having suck. a playing every game on the road, which means you're living in a hotel for the rest of the year. I mean, all 60 games. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm sure that some players are doing that really anyway. But true. Man, that has got to suck. I mean, that's got to be all. I, I don't know, man. I bet almost every player has an apartment or something. Like, Terry Francona doesn't live in Cleveland, but he has an apartment downtown Cleveland. Yeah. He, no, can, he can walk to the stadium. So, like, he has a home there. He has a place that he can go to his bed every night. But in this situation, you ain't ever going home. No, you're never going home. Which, golly. I mean, think think about the laundry. I think think the the state of Pennsylvania is being ridiculous. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, the the Pirates are already using PNC Park. They're already bringing people in. Yeah. Like, what exactly would be the difference? And it's not like these guys are going to be out and about – in the city, no. they're they're going no. from their hotel to the. We've talked about how they're already kind of in a bubble anyway. You go yes. from the hotel to the ballpark, back to the hotel, hotel ballpark, back to the hotel, and then you fly to the next place. Like I don't understand what the problem. A private charter. I don't understand what the issue is. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. But you know, neither here nor there. It's just uh, it. Toronto messed them up pretty bad because originally they approved it. Everybody made plans for them to just play in Toronto. Toronto understood the teams flying in would virtually do that. They would be in a bubble. They're going to fly over. They're going to land their private charter. They're going to hop on a private charter bus. They're going to go straight to the hotel. The hotel and the baseball team, uh, the facility is actually connected in Toronto. So they just stay on the facilities, play their game, go back to the hotel, sleep, go back to the charter, get the hell out, no big deal. And and never step foot on Canadian soil outside of transit and and uh and and the the baseball facilities. Yeah. And then the last minute they said, "Nope, we don't want it. We're not doing it." And now Toronto's scattering and then Pennsylvania said, "Nope, we don't want it. We're not doing it." And I just don't understand the reason. I don't either. I'm okay with being cautious. I'm okay with being safe. At some point in time, I think you're just being a dick. At some point in time, I think you're just, you like to have power over others, and you like to lord that power. I just think at some point in time, we just really like telling other people what to do. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think you're right. So because the, I can't think of a scientific reason why this is going to endanger people. Oh, I have. There's no reason. There's. I mean, there's no real. The pirates are going to be there playing the team that they play already. I mean, I guess you so could say that they might. Instead of thirty home games for the pirates, you're now going to basically have sixty home games for the pirates. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's it. It doesn't make any sense. Joseph Gomez said, uh, "We call those the side piece spots." Two bedroom condo near the stadium and bars. No baby mama drama. Yeah, I can believe that. Uh, it was reported, by the way, the club had initially looked into playing their home games at the AAA affiliate ballpark in Buffalo uh, or their spring training ballpark in Dunedin, Florida, uh, and Camden Yards, home of the Orioles in Baltimore, Maryland. There were concerns over ballpark adjustments that would be necessary in Buffalo and Florida. Um, yeah. And then uh, with that, I mean, the Blue Jays are set to start the season at Tampa on Friday night. And Toronto's first home game is scheduled for July 29th. In the league's new geographically-based schedule for this season, teams will not venture outside of their regions in an effort to contain extra exposure to COVID-19. So, I mean, who knows what's going to happen here. Uh, But it is incredibly interesting, and it's got to suck for those guys. Now, and I'll tell you what's probably going to happen. They're they're going to probably just do the the visiting thing the way they're going to do it. And then at some point in time, the restrictions are going to lighten up. As this thing goes on and runs its course, the restrictions are going to lighten up. You might be right. And then what, Toronto approves them at that point? And then then, then, then Toronto approves them to come back. I mean, we shall see. I mean, if they had them approved up until last week, then at some point in time, we got to assume that things are going to get better and they're going to approve them again. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're probably right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and move.